<laughs> you call me a teapot. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just, this part, do not out. cut this part out. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Talk. Today's episode is very very special because we have the pregnant Naomi in the house. Wow. Congrats! Thank you. That was awkward. Yeah, that was. <laughs> My name is Dew. I'm Jade. I'm John. I'm Sephora. And I'm Naomi. And today we're gonna discuss... So... What is the first thing that went through your head when you found out that you were <gasps> Probably like, fuck my life <laughs> <laughs> So what, what made you go, go and buy a pea stick? I was feeling nauseous for like an entire week I took the test in my client's, I don't want to say who oh. <laughs> My client's <laughs> toilet When I was in there, I came out, the results were very vague because like one line was there, and then the other was like there Wait. but not there. I kept the kit, then by the end of the night, I, I checked it again, then the line was clearer. And then after that, my, my husband went to buy more kits. Yeah. And then I went home and I tested But what was his like initial reaction? He was just like, no lah, I think you're thinking too much lah. But did not say it. Was it. Was <laughs> <laughs> wow! Okay! And then he was like, I think you should keep it. Like, I really want it. Oh. Yeah, he, he said that he wants it. My girlfriend will say no. Just like, you're bored now. Fuck, <laughs> 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 my girlfriend messes never cry. I fucking freak out, yeah. I think Can most say. guys would. So if he tells you don't kill, it'll be okay with it. Or you, you will fight it out. Because well, I feel like. I never talk about no, that. No, because she says she, she half want to keep, half don't want to keep. But I cannot be the boyfriend like, I want to kill on the keep. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, because you're also a bit scared. Right? Correct. I was the one that was worried about all this stuff. He was the one that was very certain. He will always be the one that pulls me back and like, you know, like remember why we wanted this stuff. So he keeps me sane too. But it's a plan. <laughs> oh, right, after y'all made a decision. Fuck. <laughs> you in your own world. <laughs> <laughs> there were three things that you needed to think about when yes. you all decided to keep the keep the child, right? Mm -hmm. Number one is your marriage. Mm -hmm. Number two is telling your parents, and the third is telling the world since you are an influencer. Mm -hmm. Which was the hardest one? I would say like revealing it to the world. I don't even think it's my parents because at the end of the day, you'll feel like your parents will still accept you for who you are. But the world's not gonna accept you. I think my mom will kill you. You know what I mean? Yeah. My mom will fucking beat the shit. My mom's so fucking beat the shit. Ma! Ma! No, I think like every parent, especially those that are like very traditional, they would be angry, but they will eventually like come to terms with it. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you are still their children. And at the end of the day, that's still their grandchildren. Yeah. I saw her review video, then her grandma's message. Yeah, so wow, that one. Oh, I cried. Now I'm very sweet. You know what, Lanka? I told you, you know. I was very I feel like I cry like Don't act lah Some of the men You didn't watch it I watch, I watch Today ah Do you all usually have unprotected sex? I don't know Okay, okay It's not like that So during the, the unprotected periods she doesn't even pull out lah. It just happens. It what, just what, happens. What does that mean? As in like, when you're like having sex and the guy's about to ejaculate and he's like, Ugh, babe, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. And he's like, Yes, yeah, she is. No, no. As in he will ejaculate in you. Yeah, yeah. No, we don't like, we don't hesitate lah. Like, we don't okay. like. Right, right, right. Yeah, so it's in like, the moment, so yeah, you kind of like saw it coming lah. Ah, that like, is, oh, that's them chala. Since like, like I would say actually we had more protected than unprotected mm. sex. Yeah. And so yeah. Not sway like I did like sing like, uh, like, uh, yeah. yeah. so, like, for the lack of better word. Yeah, sway for you. When you try your best but you don't succeed. Actually I did have like a pregnancy scare, but I was just like paranoid about it, but yeah. I didn't get it lah. So Sephora and you had a sort of pregnancy mm. scare, not really. Mm. Have you? Yeah, first. I think you're fucking dirty. Fuck you! What the fuck? It's a mess. <laughs> so I broke up with my ex-girlfriend and got together with her so-called best friend. Her period was late for 
for two weeks or whatever, I was like, shit, what the fuck we gonna do, right? So we thought, I, I, I think back, and then I remember our condom bill. But I pulled out. So I thought, okay, we are safe. But then, of course, I'll be a bit scared, right? So I was like, okay, should we go and get a pill? I was dumb, right? So you wanted to get a pill? Like a abortion yeah, pill? Yeah. So, so she said that the pill was like, rubbing you. Wait, wait, listen! <laughs> she was 17. She said at 18, then she can get a pill. So I was like, fuck me. So what I did was that I called my ex girlfriend. Oh yes. my god! Why are you so fucked up? What? You can call everyone? Listen. No, 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 no other girl that was 18 that I trust. No other girl. And I say, can you do me a favor? Can you go to the doctor and can you get you're, a You're damn disgusting eh? You're such a dick eh? seriously. <laughs> the scare was more like calling the ex-girlfriend uh, ex-girlfriend yeah, yeah. doctor. That was bad enough already. Right? Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. Then, then you call the call down. <laughs> How can you do your that? So like what, happen, what happens if like the condom breaks? <laughs> Even if you use, but you know it's never 100% safe right? I would like freak out, but I think I'll probably keep it. Mm. I would like would love to be a mom. I think I just won't like to settle down, but I think I'll be a rocking mom. Like I a keep saying, mom. a rocking mom. Okay. If I were to have that child then and there, I'll be like, wow, my life is fucking over. Mm. As a personal choice, I would definitely like abort it. My God, school. Then everyone will look at me. Furthermore, like my career choice. Thinking about it, I also like get a bit of anxiety. She's really feeling it. Yeah, like, like fucking. Yeah, I see it in the eyes now. If I want to have that child, then and there, I'll be like, wow. Because you can pee on them. <laughs> 20 years from now, can you imagine, like, you actually try for a baby, then, like, you can't have it because what of the choice you did. Mm. Yeah, it's like, it's a lot of things to think about. Then that was one of the yeah. things I Because, like, if you're lucky once, you might not have the chance to <laughs> conceive again. If right, 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 now. correct, yeah. correct. You, you said you would keep the, the child, right, if you're pregnant. Uh, yeah. So, would you keep the child as a single? Wow, oh, that is damn tough. I think yes. I know that I can like... Hustle. Hustle, yeah, I'll hustle. It'll be good. It's so you okay. got five different ATMs lah. No, like if I want, I could. Like, I'm okay to work like 12 hours, I work really hard. Yeah. So if I have a kid, I'll just get, I'll get a job and I'll support the kid. It's no problem. I would rather like, work a 9 to 5 that's stable and support a kid than to live with the fact that I have, you know, not no offense to anyone with abortion, but I personally, I don't think I can live with it. So then I don't want to continue like living it up as a DJ and partying when I know that like mm. it's at the expense of a, my child. Mm. Like that's crazy. Mm. Can I tell you guys a story? Mm. Okay, I was pregnant before you guys. <gasps>